Hello po mga kababayan. Hello teman-teman. Selamat malam. Xin chào các bạn. Hello and welcome to NIA Global News. I am your English news reporter, Angela. New Taipei City launches Chinese textbooks in June. Migrant workers welcome the Songkran Festival. Tainan City Police announced their safety against drunk driving advocacy. The Tatia Matu pilgrimage crosses international borders with a global multilingual broadcast. Miao Li hosts a camp for children to learn about the bombing Lord Handan traditions. New Taipei City launches a Chinese textbook in June. The goal of the courses is to improve the Chinese language listening, speaking, reading and writing abilities of the new immigrants. The New Taipei City Education Bureau promotes the New Immigrants Learning Chinese program. The basic textbooks for learning Chinese for new immigrants are divided into three volumes. The first book introduces how to take public transportation. The second book introduces the local tourist attractions in New Taipei City and how to get there. The third book is about how to use the internet to book tickets when taking public transportation. This new set of Chinese teaching materials will be released in June. Migrant workers welcome the Songkran Festival. Tainan City Police announced their safety against drunk driving advocacy. Every year from April 13th to 15th, not only is it Thailand's traditional splashing water festival, but it is also their New Year's celebration. On this traditional day, the Thais celebrate but neither overdrink nor drunk drive. The Tainan Police specially invited the Ni Lan Thai Culture Team to serve as spokespersons for the Drunk Driving Prevention Advocacy to promote the correct drinking and driving regulations to Thai migrant workers and new immigrants in Taiwan. In addition, Ni Lan Thai Culture is a team formed by new immigrants from Thailand, Xu Zhen Ni and Teng Ma Lan. The two have a strong love for Taiwan and at the same time taking advantage of the arrival of the Songkran Festival. They gave Taiwan their blessings. The Tatia Matu pilgrimage crosses international borders with a global multilingual broadcast. Listed by the Discovery Channel as one of the world's three major religious events, Tatia Matu is being broadcasted internationally. On April 9 this year, it was broadcasted from the Tatia Zhenlan Temple in Taichung City. It is their first time cooperating with the anchor team of Radio Taiwan International. In 11 languages, the startup ceremony of the Tatia Mazu was broadcasted live to the world, passing on Taiwan's beliefs and culture and to pray for the whole world. Miao Li hosts a camp for children to learn about the bombing Lord Handan traditions. The Lantern Festival, Bombing Handan, originated in Ziyu Palace in Zhunan, Miao Li. In order to preserve Zhunan Township in Miao Li, this bombing Hantan tradition continues to be passed on. At the same time, this allows local children to learn about the culture of their hometown through the Little Hantan Experience Camp. During the event, a 4D tunnel was also designed to stimulate the explosion of Hantan. This lets the children and parents experience the reality of the explosion of Hantan.